So I find these feet are much better. They just work out better if they're soft. So I'm and thin clay. So I'm making it pretty thin. So this is a um, it's for making pasta and it warps, so I just cut it in half, but there are lots of tools like this around. Let's do the top one first, because it'll be the biggest one. And I'll go ahead and make it just to see if it's a relative good size. I'll have that ready if it's not. That looks a little bit small. This, this is the only hard thing I do just to get the gist of this. So you want to make about 10 to try it out. You don't give up after three, although it's very tempting to. So there it is, sort of a witch's hat, and then you just plop it down. And you can encourage it, like if I want that to, I can sort of encourage it to plop in that way. This one might be all right. So it's going to end up being on top of the teapot and coming over and curling down. So I'm going to leave it like this for now because I want to see, I want it a little bit bigger though. So it, it comes down in the sides. So I'll put that aside. Now I'll make the two feet. So I'm going to make two of these, same as the first one, just smaller, because they're the feet that go underneath the piece. This one's a little cockeyed, but it, it works out OK. I used to do these solid. OK, it came apart and back, and you can just put that back together and make it look like you meant it. And this is why I'm called Queen of Low Standards. OK, and then you can shove it down a little bit to encourage it, and then press it down. So then I make another one out of this one. That's what I'll start now. I made a couple feet. These feet were too fat, and this foot is uh, bigger and spreads out more because I made it thinner. So let's see how that fits right there. That looks pretty good. I have choice of two different ones for here. And that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to, it's kind of sticking out though. That goes out too far. Let's try this one. So in other words, sometimes you make several of them. I cut this so there's enough negative space underneath it. These look kind of like snowshoes on the teapot. And let's check the bottoms. That's how I want the bottoms to look, because if they have too much clay in here, then the teapot's going to be tippy. OK. So OK, that's about right. So I'm just putting um, the slip, and the slip is just made it already has paper in it, so I just take bone dry pieces and add water. There, that's pretty good. The other top handle was just pinhead like, it was just stingy. So I made another one so it would be bigger. So I do put a hole, but things blow up because there's too much moisture, not because of trapped air. But we've all been trained so much, we're superstitious. Okay. And that's good to have it hollow. I used to make these solid, and they, they didn't go down. One of my early bosses teaching ceramics called this uja booja. He said, all your work is so uja booja. I thought it was a great word to describe sort of organic sloppiness, actually. OK, so. OK. So that's the teapot. And I would fit a longer at home, blah, 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 blah.